Hey everybody, Pastor Mark here. It's Wednesday and you know that means it's time for our check-in. A lot of cool stuff happening this time of the year. We just had All Saints Sunday, which is a day I, I just really appreciate. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to remember and give thanks for the memories and lives of those who have gone in faith before us. What a really terrific opportunity to intentionally give thanks for all of those wonderful people who have invested in and influenced our lives. We've got a congregational meeting coming up this coming Sunday. So after church in the place of Adult Forum, we'll have our congregational meeting where we're going to consider new members of our board and pass a budget for the next year. And then soon enough, we'll begin the season of Advent on November 28th. We'll start that season of longing for and anticipating the story of the Incarnation, when Jesus, God in the flesh, walks among us. I also really appreciate Lynn Wiltsey bringing a sermon for us last Sunday. She talked about that wonderful, beautiful story of Lazarus, who had died and Jesus raised him to new life, a forerunner of the resurrection, of the life that we all will taste in the, the fullness of the kingdom of God. Lynn did a great job for us, and I really appreciate hearing what she brought. This week, we have a little bit of a challenging story. Jesus is telling the disciples as they're walking around Jerusalem, looking at all of this monumental architecture. They go to the temple, and it's incredible, and it's beautiful, and it's taken a long time, and a lot of money, and a lot of effort to build. And Jesus says, tear it down. Tear it down, and in three days, I will raise it up. What we notice is that Jesus is using this as a metaphor. The old ways will fall. The things that you have invested in and thought were the big deal, that's not the big deal. I've come to show you real life. I've come to show you really the kingdom of God. Beyond buildings, beyond borders, beyond boundaries, to something real and profound. Jesus is helping them reimagine their lives of faith, but it's challenging because we take comfort in things like buildings and bank accounts and security and borders and walls and order. And when Jesus threatens that, it's challenging. But especially as we recover from the pandemic, as we cast our gaze to the future, we might wonder what buildings need to be torn down. What opportunities are there on the horizon for us for a new life that are exciting and new, but scary and bold? So join me this Sunday. We're going to think about that story. We're going to wrestle with those ideas and live more fully into who has Jesus called us to be and how do we live that out in our daily lives. I hope to see you on Sunday, either in the live stream or here in person. Stay tuned for all of our holiday plans and ideas that are coming up. It's a joy to be with you in this season, and I look forward to being together soon.